Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Robert here from Deft Film, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tip in Premiere Pro about how to play back your footage if it is choppy and stuff like that. If your previewing doesn't work either at full, half, one fourth, or one eighth, and it's still choppy, then use this tip. And this is a personal project of mine, not a deaf project, only because this is the only project I had that could fit the scenario the best. What I have here is a two clips that are linked to After Effects compositions. So that means that Premiere Pro has a little trouble playing them back in real time because they have effects and because they have stuff that's going on in After Effects. So if we tried to play it back now, it would kind of look a little choppy. As we watch the playback here, you can see it's choppy. The text comes in late. Look at this, this is a better example right here. The, the frame rate is choppy and it's just bad. So a quick fix is rendering the footage beforehand. And this is a little different from proxies, but kind of similar to proxies. And it's a little different from just exporting it on your own. Premiere actually has a built-in feature for this. So if you take the clips or the area that you want to render, pre-render, press X, you're basically taking this like selection tool, which is already, which already might be on your timeline. Just drag it over and kind of spread it over the, the region that you want to render. And as you can see, it's red showing that the playback will be like choppy, it'll be slow. If we press enter on our keyboard, this window comes up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if OBS has like a good thing, but I'll include like the like actual rendering window. Um, but you can see the top of it up here and it will basically render the footage beforehand. When you're watching it in the premiere sequence, you're basically watching a rendered clip. So that means any time that you make changes to those clips, like adding effects, like any effects, like changing the lighting, changing whatever, it will require you to render it again. But this is extremely useful when you have big effect intense and graphically intense stuff. Depending on how good your computer is and depending on the project, this is helpful for playing back stuff in real time and seeing kind of the finished product. Now that the render is finished, the red bar has been replaced by a green bar, and if we press enter here, as you can see now playing back the footage, there's no lag inside the playback. A little frame drops, but like, no lag basically. Even if we dropped it down to 1 8th, it should be even better than full, because this is a 4K project. Yeah, this tip is especially good if you're running on lower end computers. Uh, this combined with proxies can allow you to edit 4K or even 1080p footage in real time and have convenient workflow without needing a huge mega computer. So thanks guys for watching. This is Robert from Deft Film and I'll see you guys around.